MicroStation contains a wide variety of drawing tools for a variety of uses and disciplines. While many are nice to know, many are essential to all production drawing. In this video, you will use several common tools that span across all disciplines and drawing types. In this lesson, you will learn element placement options, place smart line, place block, and place circle. Continuing with the microstationbasics.dgn in the Precision Input with AccuDraw model. From the Home Ribbon tab in the Placement Ribbon group, select Place Smart Line to make this tool the active tool. Most microstation drawing tools consist of completing the following steps. Select a tool, adjust the tool settings, follow the prompt on the status bar to use the tool. With Place Smart Line active, in the status bar in the lower left corner of the application window, we can see the tool prompt Place Smart Line, Enter Vertex. Using the mouse, left click anywhere in the empty view window to define the start point of the line. By the way, the left click mouse button is often referred to as a data point. Do not hold or keep the mouse button pressed. The first vertex of the smart line has been created. The smart line being drawn is rubber banded on your cursor. It follows you as you move the mouse. The prompt appears, enter next vertex or reset to complete. Left click or data point on the mouse anywhere in the view to define the end point of the line segment. Continue adding vertices by providing additional left click or data points anywhere in the view. The resultant element created is referred to as a line string where you have many vertices in the one element. For comparison, a line only contains a start vertex and an end point. To stop placing line segments, right click or better known as reset on the mouse. The current smart line is terminated with the last vertex. Note that the Place Smart Line tool is still active and is, once again, prompting for the first vertex of the new line string. On the Home tab in the Placement Ribbon group, select the Place Block tool. Referring to the prompt in the status bar, Place Block, Enter First Point, define the first corner of the block with a data point and move the mouse to see that a block is being created instead of a line. Per the prompt, place line, enter opposite corner, define the opposite corner with a second data point to complete the block. Note how we did not need to press the right mouse button or reset button this time. In the Home tab in the Placement Ribbon group, select Place Circle from the Ellipses tools. Returning to the status bar, we see the prompt Place Circle by Center, Identify Center Point. Define the center point of the circle with a data point and move the mouse to see that this time a circle is being created. Following the prompt, define the circle radius by entering a data point on the circle's edge. If we wanted to set the circle's radius to a specific value, we use AccuDraw. This is explained in the upcoming lesson using AccuDraw and AccuSnap. There are other methods to define a circle, for example by defining three points on the circle's edge. You can select the desired method in the tool settings window. With place circle still active, observe the tool settings window. In tool settings, set the method to edge and read the prompt. It now says, place circle by edge, identify first point on circle. Enter a data point to define the first point on the circle's edge. Read the prompt and enter another data point to define the second point on the circle's edge. As we move the pointer, a dynamic circle follows the cursor. The tool is waiting for that third data point. Following the prompt, enter a third data point to complete the circle. Each tool has its own tool settings. When you select another tool, the tool settings in the tool settings window are automatically updated. Always check these first and adjust them as needed. Then, 
Read the prompts and continue with the tool. Select the place block again and note the tool settings. Set the method to rotated and create another block following the prompts. In this lesson, you learned about element placement options, the place smart line, place block, and place circle tools. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.